welcome back to the channel 901 tech life i ask that you please like share comment subscribe to my videos and i'm coming to you today with the 2020 uh gun collection i'll be showing off my gun collection the guns the firearms that i own and we're gonna start it with the first one make sure it's clear It is clear, looked in the chamber. It is a loaded mag though. But it is my Glock. And it's a Glock 23 Gen 4, 40 caliber. Like my favorite brand of handguns besides Springfield. My two favorites. This one is 40 cal, it's 13 rounds plus one. It's stock, still have the Glock sights on it. The only thing I've done is the uh, enhanced mag well. I did do that to it. You can see that. It's the only thing I've done to it. Hadn't changed anything, trigger anything like that. I do want to put the uh, True Glow night sights on it. Just hadn't got around to doing it, but I do want to do that. But yeah, it's a stop. Glock 23, this is my everyday carry. I love this gun, I love Glocks, period. So, that's my first one. The second one I have done a review on, you guys have seen. It's my revolver, my 357 38. It's a uh, EAA Windicator, six shot, 357 mag, 38 plus P. Still hadn't shot it yet. <laughs> I need to shoot my guns and uh, it's got the nice grips on it. Made in Germany, it is loaded. Keeping my hand off the trigger, but I'll go ahead and unload it for you. It is unloaded, it is clear. It's my second gun that I own. And we gonna do this is my Sig P938. I call it my little pocket rocket. It's clear. See, it is clear, nothing in the chamber. Magazine is loaded, but it's nothing, it's nothing in the chamber. Hammer fire, six plus one. I do have an extra magazine, the seven plus one, but it's a great little pocket gun, or you could actually wear it as a side arm, but it's a great little pistol. This is my second one, well, third one. And then my fourth one is gonna be this one. This is kind of sentimental to me because for one, I built this gun, so it means something to me when I put my hands on it and I built it. And it is my AR pistol, chambered in 5.56, empty mag. Empty mag, empty chamber. I built this gun probably a year ago, maybe almost two. And uh, it's a Palmetto State Armory upper, and I have an Anderson lower. The parts kit that I used is a Spikes Tactical, and the trigger is actually out of a uh, Radical Arms AR. I just had it laying around, so I decided to <clears throat> use some old parts that I had, but the grip is Spikes Tactical. And the uh, regular charge end, I do have the mag pull, mag pull, flip up sights on it. As you can see, I can see that. Mag pull, flip up sights. And yeah, it's kind of, you know, sentimental because I built it and I made it for my son. My son is 11 months. So on his 21st birthday, he will be gifted this AR-15 pistol. His next gun, and it's actually my final gun that I will be showing. Like it means a lot to me too, because it's my very first 
AR-15 that I bought, but I basically rebuilt it, changed everything on it. So you can say I built an, another one. I built two of them, So, but it means a lot to me. This is my Radical Arms 5.56 AR pistol. This this is sentimental to me. I'm gonna clear it, cause like I said, it is loaded. Nothing in the chamber. But yeah, I, I'm gonna start at the muzzle. This is a Yankee Hill muzzle brake compensator that I put on here. And I have the Monstrum, uh, I think it's 200 lumens whipping flashlight. And that's a BCM aluminum rail. This is a Keymar rail. So I put me a light on it. And this is a, I want to say, Aim Sport handguard that I put on here. And it's, it was really, really cheap. It probably was $40, $50. I order everything off of, well, most of my gun parts and stuff off of PrimeRearArms.com. That's where the gun actually came from. So I put this handguard on it, and I have an optic on it. It is a Vortex Crossfire Red Dot. It's a two MOA dot. You may be able to see it if I, there we go. It's on the brightest setting. Goes up to... 11. I keep it off when I have not in, not using it, but I uh, I usually keep it around four or five when I'm using it. If it's daylight outside and I'm not in a range, I'll turn it up a little bit. That's my crossfire uh, red dot with the uh, lower one third co witness mount. I didn't put any flip ups on this, just went with a red dot. And I know you guys can see that. I got my nickel boron coated uh, bow carrier group. And it's really, it's a good bow carrier group. It was cheap, but it works really, really good. It was about mm, close to $100. It's a Palmetto State Armory nickel boron coated uh, BCG. And uh, did a lot of upgrades to this gun. Then we got the trigger. This is a CMC uh, three and a half pound trigger. I want to say it's a single stage. I want to say single stage trigger. And I got the flat one versus the curve. I wanted it to be flat. And uh, it's a nice trigger. It's real, real light. And I got the Magpul hand grip. And also, the uh, I got the brace on it. This is classified as a pistol, and uh, got the uh, SB tactical brace on it. This brace was probably around bought it when it first came out. It was almost it was maybe a hundred. It was a hundred and something, maybe close to two. But I got it when it first came out, and. Uh, Basically covered all my upgrades. It is chambered in 5.56. And also on this monster flashlight, it has a glass break, glass breaking detents on it. So if you're into a situation, and I also can use this to break glass if I needed to. But if you're in a situation, excuse me, and you had to break glass or something like that, these two, they would do it. Overall, this is my favorite gun. If I had to give up all my guns and keep one, this is the one that I would keep. It's accurate also. And Radical Arms is a, it's not the SIG, it's not the top brands, but it's an actual good firearm, being that I've had it for about six years. But that's the end of my 2020 gun collection. I'd like to say again, please, would you like, comment, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching.